Hi, it's Carl Thompson here from StorageCraft. In this tutorial, we're going to look at deploying a new service node into Hyper-V, although using VMware with our deploy tool would be a very similar experience. So again, for Hyper-V, opening up the agent on a Hyper-V host, we're going to go along the wizard and select a service node deployment. So again, selecting the shadow safe service node, go next. Now this is where we need to define a bunch of information. So the first thing is going to be the IP or DNS name for the one system. So this is the director for ShadowSafe. The next step we need is the director fingerprint. So logging into your one system, you will see here the director certificate fingerprint. We're going to copy and paste that in. The next section is the service node registration token. So we'll generate that. This, when you generate this will only last for 24 hours, so you just need to bear in mind you may need to generate uh, you know, each time you're doing this. And then finally, the storage craft agent registration token. So those three uh, components are required. The next step we want to do is add a site. So this is, uh, for example, I'm deploying into a, a customer site. I'm going to create a site. This will generate a site ID. So again, copy that final piece, paste into here, and go next. Now finally, we need to choose the appliance admin. So this is the credentials to log into the back end of the appliance uh, should we need to make any changes. So go ahead here and click install. And this process just takes uh, you know a few seconds, not very long at all. But what will happen in the background, which I want to take the opportunity to show you um, specifically with the Hyper-V environments, is that it has to then go and download the virtual appliance from our website. So I'm going to go in here and open up the resource monitor. This is going to allow me to view uh, the storage craft agent, which we've just installed, and we'll see that it is downloading a bunch of traffic from the storage craft website. So at the same time, I'm going to jump into the default Hyper-V install directory, and under virtual disks, uh, I can see here a service node folder that's been created with a part file. So at this point, I'm just going to speed up the webinar. I think it took about five minutes to download, but we will see here that this part file uh, will be renamed to a VHDX as well as a couple of other files that get downloaded. Once that has downloaded, the VM will be automatically started in Hyper-V and we'll jump in there and take a look at that. So just wrapping up the download now, we can see there's a couple of files that have been created. Uh, and then at this point, we'll go and uh, close down uh, the task manager in this folder and then go and take a look at the Hyper-V machine that's been turned on. So in Hyper-V here, we can see there is the service node that's just been powered on. I can see there in the Hyper-V manager, the IP address. So back in one system, jump into the service node. I can see that new site, STCHV, towards the bottom there. And this is the first service node for that site. So it is identified as the site leader in the type column. And there we have it. That is as simple as that to deploy a new service node.